from the colonel. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause, and this despite and perhaps because of your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassin sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Bates out! Let's go! Man your post, guest. The Colonel's in trouble. How do you mean, in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry, facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads! And man your stations! We raise anchor! Sorry for the early libation, Captain. But do you realize that it's been a whole year since we've been... <laughs> you will uh, forgive me if I have been uh, celebrating without you. A whole year. Guest, I have a question for you. How long have you known of my, well, former allegiance? Oh, you mean the assassins? I knew that ages ago, Shay. I may be drunk, but I'm not blind. Or did you think I would assume you had escaped from some homicidal circus? Why didn't you say anything? Well, the colonel wanted us to avoid the subject, so I couldn't get to influence your decision making. You saved my life out of pure selfless instinct, and helped countless others besides. If it were up to me, I would have made you an official Templar months ago. Who is it up to then? Monroe mentioned a Grand Master. Oh, yes. The Grand Master of the Colonial His father was an assassin. Really? He must have a story to tell. Where's the news from Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded, and reinforcements are late. General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the colonies for King Louis, hasn't he? I rather wish he'd stayed home with his mistress. His or King Louis? Either. Though I suspect the king's is finer. Indeed. Madame O'Murphy is supposed to be quite the charmer. And O'Murphy is in the French king's bed. Now I know you're pulling my leg.
Shay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncal. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncal. The colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the colonel. Thank you. Maybe I can finally repay my debt to him. I hope I'm not too late.
Goodwin. Master Cormac. Sir, we must hurry. We should bring what's left of your man to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. If you don't mind me asking, what happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I am afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard us for days. Damn frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than you. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to defend us. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove your loyalty to the Templars, Master Cormac. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. As for my loyalty, well, I do owe you, don't I? You saved my life. Gave me a second chance. We have been working together for a year now. During that time, you have rendered many great services. Whatever debt you imagine you have towards me is paid, would you say? Perhaps. Take out as many as I can. your men moving. I'll scout ahead and signal if there's trouble. A sensible strategy. Very well. I will lead my men around slowly.
Kasegawase will not relent. Kasegawase? You know this man, Master Cormac. Aye, Colonel. He is one of Achilles' men. An assassin, as I was. So they know I am Templar. And now this assassin knows you live. And work with Templars. I'm no fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. You know that's a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. But we have little choice. We survived French cannons, we will survive this. You better... That's the club flies! I see him! I have him in my sights! Loose the sails! You heard the captain, men! Let's get out of here! Move! Move! Chee! I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's training post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once. Master Cormac, meet me there. Unfurl, mates! Let's move! Spread those sheets! <laughs> 